everyone. Welcome to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here by Lauren Falco, as always, from Destination El Paso. We have made our way to Northeast El Paso. We are at Neep Collective, yes. a really cool patio area. We're surrounded mm -hmm. by food trucks. Have a view of the Franklin Mountains. It's what, gorgeous. What else do you need? And also, a perfect day, too, Absolutely right? This beautiful. is beautiful outside. Um, and especially for the summer, this is gonna be like a great hangout spot. Um, it's open Wednesday to Sunday, Friday and Saturday after nine, it turns into 21 plus, uh, okay. but they do have a full bar, which is awesome. Um, and they often rotate out their food trucks. So mm -hmm. you have a lot of really great choices. They have a new hot chicken place that just opened. They have some really great Mexican food, uh, barbecue, pizza sometimes. So a really great uh, selection across the board. And they also do like big games on the on the big screen. Nice. Um, so you can come out, have a beer, have some food and, and watch some football. It's a really cool space. Um, and it's really unique to Northeast El Paso. All right, Lauren, let's get to our events. A figure that is very well known, very well known. here in the borderland, Billy the Kid, mm -hmm. and he has a festival dedicated An to entire him. festival dedicated to him, incredible. Awesome. Um, so the Billy the Kid Festival, it's in its 16th year in El Paso, oh, which wow. is insane. Um, and actually it's San Elizario, so it's really, really cool history for that area. Um, the jail out there that held Billy the Kid is there. Um, and so they do a really cool reenactment. They have vendors, music. It's just really fun. And that's June 1st and 2nd in San Eli. Um, you can find more information on their website. Summer is already here. It oh, yeah. was like yesterday. We had the Sali Limon Festival mm -hmm. in downtown El Paso and it's happening again this year. Oh my gosh, don't tell me summer's here. So stressed, so many events, so many <laughs> so things many to things do. Um, but that's awesome for the city. So Sally Limon is, is its second year actually, um, and they're having this incredible festival downtown. It's gonna have margaritas, as the name suggests, um, but they'll also have a ton of tequila. It is family friendly, so you can come out there, bring the, the kids, have a good time, make sure you drive home safely. Um, and that's June 1st in downtown El Paso. Something really cool at the Coliseum. I'm mm -hmm. sure if you go to that event, you'll be able to see really cool oh, yeah. outfits. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cool. It's So it's Rockabilly Bop, and it's a, a free market that they're gonna do at the Coliseum on June awesome. 2nd. Um, again, we love free, we love music. Uh, Rockabilly, undetermined, but fun. maybe we'll love it. Um, but it's gonna be really fun. They'll have vendors, of course, they'll have music. Um, and it, like you said, the, the costumes are like the- The outfits, the outfits. you can get dressed up a little bit. Incredible. More retro vintage vibes. 100%. Got lots of music lovers mm -hmm. in El Paso, uh, certainly some Depeche Mode lovers too, oh, and there's yeah. an event for them. This is a tribute show for Depeche Mode at Club 101, which is like a classic, legendary establishment in El Paso. It's gone through a lot of locations, um, and this is a great, great night to go check it out. Um, Depeche Mode, of course, classic 80s band. Um, it's at, it starts at 9 p.m. on May 31st, um, and tickets are available, so go check that out. Time flies when you're having fun. It goes for us, mm -hmm. but also Aurelia's uh, Brewery. Mm -hmm. They're having their five year anniversary. It's like yesterday, it opened. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that it's been five years. I actually live very close to it. And uh, it's really exciting to see this brew house thrive. They've expanded a lot. And so obviously we're gonna help them celebrate. Cheers to five years. Um, that's happening on June 1st. And it's gonna be really exciting to see everybody come out. They have live ponies, like, Come on. I mean, if anything else, That's just go see the pony. A hundred percent. But they will have also two new beers. They're gonna have family-friendly beverages. Perfect, thank you, Lauren. Lots of fun events happening this week. Of course, if you missed any of those, you wanna know about the times, dates, or tickets, go to visitelpaso.com, and we'll see you again on Que Pasa next week.